I am back. Stay tuned to find out where I've been and what I've been up to. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne and I'm back with a new video. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Well, it feels like it's been a really long time. It's been two months, three months even. It feels like a really long time and I've missed you. I've missed you all. I've missed being here on this channel and sharing my life with you, but things have been a bit hectic and I needed to just take a little break, but now I'm back. So today I thought I'd come on and just share a little bit about where I've been and what I've been up to and maybe a little bit about what you can look forward to moving forwards. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're just new here today, then I would love it if you would subscribe and join us here. We've got a lovely little community and it would be a brilliant to have you with us. And also thank you if you've been subscribed for a long time. I do really appreciate it. So where to start? Perhaps the biggest news, I guess, which I may have alluded to a little here and there, but for those of you that don't know, I have been a primary school teacher for over 17 years. Well, I've worked in the school that I worked in for 17 years as a teaching assistant and then as a teacher. Obviously I went on maternity leave when I had our gorgeous baby, Taylor, who is now one, well he's 13 months in fact, which is just crazy, where has that time gone? But anyway, I made the decision while I was on maternity leave that I would actually be handing in my notice from my teaching job. It's something that I had felt like I wanted to do for quite a long time and the time just felt right. I think having a baby changed my outlook on a lot of things and I realised that my baby and my family were the most important thing to me and they needed me to be happy, healthy and present and they were things I couldn't be while I was in that job. So I made the big decision to walk away after a very long time. But if you're familiar with, I don't know if it's just the education system or maternity pay or whatever, but you have to, in order to not pay back your work-based maternity pay, you have to return to work for a certain length of time. In my case, 13 weeks full time. Luckily, seven of those 13 weeks fell during school holidays. So I was able to just go back to work for six weeks full time still, which was difficult, but I could go back for those six weeks and that was my 13 weeks done. And then I was free. So yeah, those six weeks were hard. They were really hard. Balancing and juggling everything was really hard because Sam was working full time as well. And in terms of childcare, we had Taylor in nursery for some of the time and we were relying on my mum because Sam's family all live in the south of England so weren't able to help. So it was a difficult six weeks, but we got through it. And that's that. I no longer am a teacher. <laughs> which I'm very happy about. I was ready for a change. I was ready for a break. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have spotted a few things about First for Fabrics. If you follow me for a long time, you will know that I've talked about First for Fabrics a lot. They are my local fabric shop. I have sung their praises for a long time because they're great. They're a family run business. I love them. I've always shopped there since I've been sewing anyway and I then started to run my sewing social days there. I've also done a little bit of sewing for them so they've given me some fabric and I've sewn it up to help promote them a little bit here and there but I also buy a lot from them. Well anyway I've now also started working there. At the moment it's just sort of on a casual basis because I'm technically still employed by my school until the end of August, but it's a school holidays, so I'm not there. But we do think that things will become more 
formal, more permanent at first for fabrics. So at the minute I've been, yeah, I've been helping them out with a few things, things like photography for their website, ordering new stock for them. So patterns, we've extended the pattern range that they sell, for example. I do their social media now. So I'm the person who shares everything on Instagram and communicates with people on there. And yeah, I'm having a great time. I really, really enjoy it. So that's sort of the work side of things out of the way. So next, I guess I'll talk about our gorgeous baby, Taylor Apollo, who is now 13 months old, which I just can't believe the time has flown, but he is, he's just wonderful. He's wonderful. He's got the most gorgeous personality. He is genuinely the light of our lives and we adore him. So he had his first birthday in July. We didn't, you know, have a big song and dance because we were just coming out of lockdowns and things. And we just wanted to do something small. Unfortunately, my mum was really poorly at the time, so she wasn't able to be involved in anything to do with his birthday. So we just celebrated a little bit together at home and we went for a couple of days out together with Sam's mum and dad because they came up to visit that week. And yeah, it was lovely, just a nice chilled out celebration. But I did make Taylor a new little outfit. I made him the Over It Alls by Waves and Wild, who were formerly made by Jack's mum, in a gorgeous space print fabric that I got from Fox and the Bear Fabrics and he looked adorable in it if I do say so myself. So yes that's a Taylor update, he's doing great, he is wonderful. I love him very much <laughs> obviously. In terms of, is this TMI? I'm no longer breastfeeding him, I came to the decision around 10 months it just sort of came to a natural end, I felt like he was ready and I was ready to move on. So yeah, I'm no longer breastfeeding him. He is um, on solid foods most of the time. So he is a really good eater. He eats loads. He loves his food. <laughs> and then he also has some cow's milk as well in the evening. In terms of me no longer breastfeeding, I think I mentioned that because it is relevant. It's opened up more sewing patterns that I can now sew up because previously everything I made had to be breastfeeding friendly whereas now I can make anything I want when I have the time so I think that's why I mentioned it it is relevant on this channel <laughs> right what else have I been up to I have been sewing not as much as I would like but whenever I get the chance I do sew I am going to do a makes and favourites video at the end of August and try and get back into that routine of sharing the things that I've made every month and the things that I've been loving. So hopefully you'll look forward to that. But a couple of things I made in July that won't be in that video that I thought I'd mention. One was the Davenport dress by Friday Pattern Company. I made this in a viscose fabric from a So Haley Jane box and I really love this dress. It's great, really comfortable but I feel lovely wearing it. I actually made it and wore it for work a few times while I was still working at school and I made a matching mask obviously because that's a thing now when we sew. So yeah I really like that dress, I will make it again. And then another favourite thing I made in July or possibly the only other thing I made in July <laughs> was the named clothing kilo wrap dress in a beautiful viscose jersey that I bought from First for Fabrics. It's a stunning black and white striped viscose jersey with green flowers on and I really really loved that dress. I made it to go out with some friends. It was like the first time I'd been out in months and months and months and it was really lovely. I felt great in it and I've made that pattern a few times now and I love it. What else? Ah, so a couple of weeks ago we were down in Oxfordshire. We were staying with Sam's parents for 10 days which was really lovely and while I was down there I happened to just have a little Google to see which sewing shops were nearby. I knew Guthrie and Garney wasn't too far away. I've been there a couple of times before. I knew Sew Your Own Wardrobe was quite close by as well. But again, I've been there a few times. And then I looked and saw that Sewisfaction was only an hour away, an hour and 10 minutes, an hour, let's say. 
and I thought, yes, this is my chance. I wanted to visit Soist Faction for so long. Shona was one of the very first people I started watching on YouTube and I've always been inspired by her. So I really wanted to go to her shop and see what her business was all about. So I actually mentioned it to the ladies in the Felicity Fabrics blogger group. We have a WhatsApp group that we chat in. And Liz, the baker that sews, lovely Liz, who I've never met in person, but we talk all the time. She said, it's only 45 minutes away from me. And I suggested that we go together and we meet up, which we did. And the day before I was going to go, and meet Liz. I mentioned it on my Instagram and Laura from The Specky Seamstress, also on YouTube, she commented and said, it's not too far from me. Would you mind if I tagged along? Which of course we were delighted to. So the three of us met up at Soist Faction the next day and it was so, so lovely. These are ladies that I chat to all the time and have known for like two to three years maybe, but never actually met in person. So it was just so, so nice to meet and chat and do some fabric shopping together. And then we sat and had hot chocolate and cake and it was really, really nice. So I thought I'd show you what I bought when I was there because obviously I had to treat myself while I was there. Right, so what I bought was, well, two of, two of the fabrics have already been sewn up, which is pretty good going for me. I'll show you those first. The first one is this really cool tie-dye cotton jersey fabric, which I just love. It's a little bit damp actually, it's just been washed today. So I made this up into the Tabitha Tea from Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. And I made that because we were going to a little music festival, just a small one at a pub last weekend, and I thought this would be perfect. So yes, I made that, really love that. I just got a metre of that fabric and it was ideal for that t-shirt. I've got some little scraps left to maybe make something for a baby, not tailor because it's not enough, but it's a smaller child. <laughs> I then also got a metre of this cotton jersey because I just thought it was really cool. So it's this rainbow, well pastel rainbow stripe, but the stripes are sort of wobbly, wibbly wobbly as Liz says in her videos. <laughs> And I just thought that was really cute. And again, this is part way to becoming a Tabitha T. I need to top, well, I need to overlock the neckband, top stitch it down and just hem the sleeves and the bottom. But I love that, I love the colors in that. I think it's really cute. And then I got another cotton jersey, which was a remnant. So it's all bundled up in this string and I've, fancy this since I first saw it and a few different fabric shops have had it but if you know me you'll know I love a space celestial kind of vibe and this one is perfect so I've got about a meter and a half of this so I could either make a t-shirt for me and then something for Taylor or I could actually make a dress I think it might make a really cute either t-shirt dress or well, yeah, a t-shirt dress. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm out of practice. And then this one has been bought with no plans, but I just loved it. And actually Laura bought the other meter and a half because there was three meters left on the bolt. And it's an art gallery viscose or rayon. And I just loved this print on it in this teal color. I think it's gorgeous. So, like I say, I've got a metre and a half and zero plans. So if you could help me with what to make, that would be lovely. I'm thinking some sort of blouse or top. I'm not really a blousey person, but some sort of top. Ah, oh, I did think I could make the sagebrush top by Friday Pattern Company, but should I make that or should I make something else? I know Laura was thinking collots or shorts, I think, but I'm fancying something on the top half. So do let me know if you've got any ideas. <laughs> Right, I think I might leave it there in terms of what I've been up to and it was just like a little welcome back to me <laughs> video and to let you know that hopefully I'm now back and I'm going to be uploading at least once a week. That's my aim, one video a week. If I can do any more, that's a bonus, but one video a week is my aim. So I hope that's okay with you. Thank you so much for watching. 
please give this video a like. <laughs> That would be lovely because YouTube will have forgotten who I am, will not be sharing my videos to anybody and it would be really nice if they did. So if you could like it and leave me some comments down below to show that you're engaging with it, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and I'll see you all again. Ah, do you want to know what I'm wearing? <laughs> this is the Solar, so the Solar Tea by Paper Cut Patterns. It's just got a little ruffly ruffly sleeve and this is made in fabric that I bought from First for Fabrics about a year or so ago. It's a viscose jersey made in the UK. I just really really love this colour. So I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Happy sewing! Bye! Next I guess I'll talk about my gorgeous baby. Our gorgeous baby.